Now let's finish deriving the electric field from the wave equation. So we're going to go from this differential equation to this solution here. In the previous video, we arrived at these six equations. We're going to mainly focus on the electric field ones here. So we had two differential equations and one expression, and these relate to the x, y, and z directions of the electric field. So in order to solve these and get the total electric field in our plane wave, our uniform plane wave, we're going to need to solve these differential equations. What we're going to see is that we can solve this one, and we can uh, by a trick, we're going to be able to dismiss this one, and we're going to be able to arrive at an expression for the, the electric field. So let's get started with this equation. So what is the solution form of a differential equation like this? Well, if we think back to our class, we know that it might have two parts, and we'll call it the uh, plus and the minus. Right? And so this one uh, with the plus, th we could say that this represents a forward traveling wave, and this one represents... Uh, reverse traveling wave and the total solution here this is the total solution is going to be a summation of both of those and the form of these forward and reverse traveling waves uh, should be something that's uh, an e to the x or an e to the something component and so we'll write these like this so this is the total solution form and we can see that the the form of this there's a couple things that we should know so first we see this minus sign and we know from our previous study on waves that if we see this minus sign in front of the z that this means it's a, a forward traveling plus it's traveling in the plus z direction in time and then likewise <clears throat> on this other part we see a, a positive uh, kj jkz and this is the backward traveling wave now there's two more parts and these are constants right these are some kind of leading constant or coefficients and these would come from knowledge of the boundary conditions. So that's just a little refresher of the differential equations here. So solving that differential equation, we get uh, a solution form that looks like this, where we don't yet know uh, what those constants are, but we know what the solution form looks like. Now, we can say that we have this phasor form of it, and this will lead us to wondering what the instantaneous form is. So let's take a look at that. And to find the instantaneous form, we'll take the real part of these two expressions, and then we'll add in that e to the j omega again. And if we do that, we can have an instantaneous expression where we get the cosine wave going back in. And looking at this again, right, we should get a, a second confirmation about how the waves travel forward and backwards, because we'll see, right, we have a minus kz here, which indicates the forward, the plus z traveling wave direction in time, whereas here we have the plus kz, which is a reverse traveling wave, and that, that's from our study of, of waves. So our solution to this differential equation looks like this, and we have those two terms. Now the total solution for this is e to the x, uh, e sub x in the z direction, and we see that the solution form, right, the only variable that we have knowledge of is, is z. So in the phasor domain, we say that this e to the x is a function of z. And then likewise, we could get this for e sub y. So the y direction solution to that differential equation is the same as the x direction solution. Okay, so if the electric field and the magnetic field are everywhere, and we also know that there is no component of the electric and magnetic field in the plane that's pointed in the z direction, then we can continue on by making a couple more assumptions or simplifications that will help us to get to the final electric field solution. So let's make these assumptions. Let's assume that there's an, in our solution that the based on the boundary conditions, that there's no backwards wave travel. And also, let's assume that the electric field is actually just going to point in one direction. So we know that the electric field, the total electric field, is completely contained on this xy plane. But let's simplify it even further. And let's say that not only is the total electric field contained on that xy plane, but the whole thing is pointed in the x direction only, just like this. So. Based on these assumptions, let's see how this affects our equation. So first one, this, let's say the boundary conditions indicate that we have no backwards travel. So we have these equations, and if we have no backwards travel, that's going to simplify this term. It's going to make it zero. 
And then if we say that our wave has x components only, that means that we can take these two parts so the entire electric field in the y direction is equal to zero. So we have no y component. Now this simplifies this greatly based on these two assumptions and we can reduce our entire electric field solution down to this one equation. Okay, now we see that this is the x component only and so for the total electric field that must mean that we have in the x direction we have this e to the x solution. Our differential equation for the the y, right, we made this go to zero by making a further assumption that has the x component only. And then from the previous video, we saw that we know that there is no ez component. So this is able to tell us that the, t the solution to that wave equation, when we've made our assumptions, our total solution for this plane wave in the lossless media is only in the x direction. We have no y or z components. And the x direction of the electric field is a function of z, which is the direction that the wave is traveling. And so therefore, we arrive at this final solution for the electric field for a plane wave in lossless media, where the electric field is directed in only one direction on the xy plane, and it's traveling in the z direction. In the next video, we will derive this for the magnetic field. Thank you, and see you in the next video.